Hey guys, what's going on? This is your teddy bear here, and I wanted to give you guys a little lesson on not the bad stuff of being a disabled gamers, and I don't want to use the struggle, but the differences that I have to modify so that I can actually play my best ability. So, let's get to the game. Alright guys, well I got a little treat for you here. I'm actually playing a game of free for all. So I can actually kind of push myself while I discuss this. And for starters, I want to put in a little uh, parentheses or whatever that I am not using my gamer grip if you guys have been following along. Uh, you guys will know that I actually did go out and buy some gamer grip to help me grip my, um, my controller a little bit better. But that's one of the struggles that I have been dealing with for, um, a while now, and that's something that I do want to highlight. Uh, first and foremost, my, uh, reaction time is very much to be desired uh, you know that's part of my disability uh, cerebral palsy um, not only affects your you physically it also tends to hostile um, UAV above affect you mentally and which, and it's, you know, I, I, I feel that reaction time is both physical and mental because the, let's call it the hand-eye, not the hand-eye coordination, yeah, well, yeah, maybe, but it's, it really is, it's something desired, and I can't really, paying attention is also something that, um, is not in my best personal interest and it's not like I do it on purpose it's um, it, again it's because of the disability and there are many kids that have anywhere from autism to down syndrome to cerebral palsy to um, I, I mean I don't even know and you know, these kids come out and play and do the best they can, and I mean, it's so commendable. It really is. And I, a lot of the time, I'm very humble about my, um, my disability. And I look at other kids that can't do what I can do. You know, I know people that are very timid to do anything. That was pathetic. Very timid to do anything because they're scared of what people will say. I got bullied in high school. I've been out for four years now, but I got bullied a lot and it really affected me. Um, I, I play both bass drum and trumpet and I didn't get to even try until I was in high school because in elementary school my music teacher said that I was only suitable for triangle so and I've had trouble with self-esteem for a while and I'm still struggling with it even with my um, successes not only on incoming. YouTube but just as a gamer and how much I have come and even though I'm sitting here at three and six but it it's so hard for someone like me to say okay I'm gonna I'm gonna play and I'm gonna try it like the best of them because 
you can get discouraged so quickly and so badly that there are so many problems that can set in. Like, I have anxiety, I have panics, panic attacks, I've gone into depression because of dealing with all of this stuff that I've gone through in my life. But... I'm overcoming it all, and for those who are dealing with any type of depression or anxiety disorder, never give up. Honestly, just just don't give up, because there's always hope, there's always light at the end of the tunnel, there's always a way to get out. Never, never, never give up. Now, for... The technical wow that was awful. the technical issues of playing with one hand or modified um, going back to the gamer grip for years my hand well doesn't matter what I'm doing my hand sweats because I can't I don't have the uh, ability to open and close my hand like someone else would so it just gets really nasty and when that happens everybody's hand sweats but mine gets a little more than what I'd like it to get be advised hostile counter UAV so is online I bought I went and bought gamer grip but I have to keep putting my hand in and if I'm shooting at something and my hand slips out then I'm firing I'm firing all over the place and I'm moving all over the place and I become a sitting duck and that's very discouraging that's like see I'm having to do it right now where are you at oh crap he went around But that's, you know, that's something that is a big thing that I've always had to deal with. And when I first started playing, if I was playing like this, I, I would quit. I'd be like, I can't do it, I'm done. I'd, I'd turn my system off for the day and I'd just be like, nope, not having any of it. But I've learned that you have to have those failures to succeed. Guys, I really hope that you learn something from this. I hope you can take something from this. Always remember that I love all of you. I love everyone's support. And I wish you a good Friday and a good weekend. This is Teddy Bear, signing off.